Ready? Okay, so good morning everyone. We're back with our Cert 4 in Disability here at Swinburne. As you can recall from last time, toilets are over to the left. In the case of an emergency, let's follow the evacuation procedure. Lifts and stairs are straight through on the end of that corridor. Um, anyone has any questions, please ask away. In the meantime, if we can keep the walkways clear so we have no trip hazards, and let's get started into it. So continuing on with communication as we started last time, this one is about augmentative communication. I'm not sure if anyone here before has been involved in augmentative communication or understands yeah. what it means, not really? Excellent. Okay, so augmentative, as you can see here, well, to augment, it means to add or enhance. And alternative, it's another phrase of saying alternative communication. So it's basically substituting or adding something to someone's communication to enhance it and they can express themselves. So it can be anything from day-to-day -day conversations to more complex needs by, um, or items that they need, stuff like that. So we're going to go through some different augmentative or alternative communication methods that have been used with people with disabilities. So it will be a bit interesting and you will see there's definitely a difference between uh, communication methods that were used in the past to ways they have changed now as technology has been sped up and made things a lot more accessible. Okay, so first one which is very commonly used and you will see a lot of people still use it today is communication boards. Quite often you'll find someone who cannot speak or they cannot speak clearly so the everyday people can't understand them. So they'll have a communication board. You may see it from time to time, um, someone who's in a wheelchair on their board, on their board or whatever you want to call it that's on their wheelchair, there will be a communication board on there. And that board will be made up of lots of little tiles with a different topic or a different word. Depending on the person who the board's tailored for, it will be a range of pictures, compic signs, words, whatever that person can use to associate what that tile means. Um, so, better be, oh, yep, covered all that. So, <laughs> just making sure I've covered all of that. So, yeah, um, the boards, they can be very simple or they can be very complex boards. Again, it's based on the person who is using the communication board. They're tailored specifically to that person. So, generally, as a rule, you won't see two people using the same board. Everyone has a different one. They're quite interesting. 